Hello guys, Tivik here and welcome to episode 32 of Minecraft Season 3. And I am just clearing up a little bit of an area above my quarry because I had some problems with gravel falling down here and clogging up and blocking the machine from moving. I also replaced the ticker there with a timer so that I will attempt to move the whole thing. It probably wastes a little bit of energy but it should be stable enough. So let's get our... I think I need eight. That's gonna be plenty. Um, let's just get our covers and make sure that this place can't move any items. Let's see, that one, that one, and that one. Yeah, so I'm building a shell um, so that items that fall on top will just slide along the top part of the thing. And uh, that should work out much better. I also started building on the build craft energy production area. I said I would start with industrial craft, but I kind of got a bit carried away, let's just say that, with the build craft uh, area. And I will show you that in a bit. We're gonna craft a bunch of engines, a whole lot of steam boiler stuff, because the build craft stuff will of course be steam boiler. Um, this and this and this has to go, so let's destroy these. And that. Yeah, 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 I hear ya. Um, now... This one. If I do 128 on this one, it should be fine. It might get stuck for a moment, but it will move ahead as soon as it can. That's good. I also changed the linking book to be a bit closer here. Hello, diamonds. Probably gonna need a bit more nickelite can always have more nickelite. But this is pulling a lot of stuff, I can guarantee you that. Wow, look at that, that's a lot of diamonds. So, eventually I might get some stuff falling down from below here, well, from above, but I'm not too worried about that. Look at that. And it tries to move as quickly as it can, but... Yeah, and that one is a little bit low on power. How's this battery box doing? Well, it's doing good, I say. We have plenty back, and this one has another nine hours. That's on one ender pearl? I'm gonna get a good bunch more ender pearls. Get, uh, say, 16. That's gonna last me forever. I don't mind that. There we go. Enjoy. Um, yeah, this will keep going and going and uh, bring me lots and lots of resources. Which I like. Yeah, see here. This was some gravel that got stuck. That would have stopped and clogged the whole machinery. But now with this, it works out pretty well. Wish I could do something to kind of remove the gravel after it drops, but mm, not gonna worry too much about that. Uh, yeah. Let's head back home. Whoa. Just gonna dump a bunch of stuff in here, like the stuff that I just dug up. That and the knot gate can go as well. So, as I said, I was doing a lot of crafting for the for the whole build craft energy production. Whoa, dude! I don't want any explosions in my house. Huh. 
There we go. I am getting a bit of lag here. One moment, guys. I took down my drawing distance a bit, and that seems to have done a little bit to the whole thing. Um, as I was saying, we were crafting us some stuff. Uh, oh yeah, I had a bit of a pipe explosion here. Do I have any pipe wire? Yes, I need one. I don't know what does it. Seems like power gets stuck in this pipe there. But no worries, that won't be an issue soon. I also experimented with the gear cast, and it works pretty well, I say. Um, so, we're gonna need iron plates. And what I'm building are commercial steam engines. Each of these need three. And we need 36. No, 18. I'm just kidding. 18. That's the one I made? Yes, 18. Hey, <laughs> not gonna go that wild. And for 18, that's uh, 72 iron. I think. We'll see how many iron plates we get out of that. Yeah. We're really getting getting a lot into the system now. I wonder what my TPS is. It says it's alright. That's fine. Okay. Let's see what this can do. Now this one is waiting for some energy. And both of these machines will switch on and produce a lot of power for this machine. And this will probably take a while, but let me set up the recipes. Over here. Three of these with a piston with two gears and glass makes the commercial steam engine and we're gonna need a lot of them um, I also want to get uh, I think it's the igneous extruder not sure I'm gonna have to look it up actually we need to make the uh, oh, I can't remember the name of them again it's uh, it's the thermal expansion power conduits conduit, of course. So we need hardened glass and electrum, and electrum we make from silver and gold dust. Um, and we'll also need hardened glass. And the recipe for hardened glass, I believe, uh, requires obsidian. I'm gonna have to set up a system so that we can produce obsidian and stuff like that. But uh, I'll do most of that off camera, I think. Uh, we're almost done with the plates here. Look at that. How it's eating through the iron that I put in there. I am getting a lot of iron from the drill, though, so I'm happy with that. Perfect. And there we go. And boom. 18 commercial steam engines. They will be placed in a pattern like that later, but we'll get to that. Um, let me set up and start producing electrum and hardened glass so we can get a fair deal of these, because I am not going to be using these so much. Uh, while they are nice, I'd rather not. Um, I'll see what I figure out. Uh, it's probably a good way to f uh, get things. Whoa, look at that. Uh, that's going to be an explosion. I'll break that, I think. That's leftover energy from these machines. That's silly. Huh. Oh well. Yeah, so let me set that up. I'll probably do that down in the basement, since it's a temporary thing anyhow. And be with you in a moment. So I realized that it's uh, actually been one Minecraft year since I started. Wow, that's kind of cool. Um, I do need to build myself the induction furnace. Well, the induction smelter, which is invar ingot. How do you get that? It's iron pulverized. Oh, yeah, I updated recently, so we should probably get this. Let's get all of it and see what we can do with it. Ah, I didn't know that. That's kind of awesome. Ferrous ore is smelted like that. 
and hmm. <coughs> yeah um wow pulverized ferrous metal okay so i need to pulverize some of this let's do that uh let's see here we go pulverizer i need for one of these i need total of Okay, one of these is enough. So iron, two iron dusts, and one ferrous metal. Okay, shiny metal. I should probably just pulverize everything. Now this can be used for the blend and it can be smelted to the ingots. So let's just pulverize it all and see what we get. We actually got shiny. Okay, what is that actually? It's used for shiny ingots. Okay, and that's used in nothing at the moment. Nope, nothing at the moment. Okay, it's probably for some new machine or something. So once we have a fair deal of this, this should actually make it back to uh, yeah. Let's get some iron ingots. Four should be enough. I need to disable the outputs here. Because when I put the iron in there, I don't want it to be output anywhere. We should actually only need one, but you know, just to be certain that we get everything. Let's see, should be something like that. There we go. Invar blend. Okay. I need to make some sort of automation for this later, I suppose, but I don't know. Invar blend. I can smelt it there, that's good. Okay, so for the induction smelter, I need a machine frame and uh, copper and a redstone reception coil. So that's uh, gold. I'm going to need two of those. I'm going to need iron, and that's going to be four of those. Glass. Oh, how are we sand? Not that good at all. And I have a desert world that I could go to and just grab sand. Um, I can probably find the nearest one of these. We can get one more. One more. One more. I need to go start my quarry again, because I went... I'll go smelt it upstairs. I uh, restarted the game, <coughs> sorry, when I uh, updated some mods, so... Let's see. We should have the gold we need and the iron we need. So let's uh, craft up the coil. This one, and I'm gonna need the glass now. Two, one, and one more. There we go. That's the machine frame, the coil, the ingot, and we need, oh, a bucket. <clears throat> Do I have an empty one? Yes. And it was copper. Copper. Stew. I'm gonna need to make a few more of machine frames, but I can't be bothered making automation for this since I'm moving. Um, for that we also need the uh, magma crucible. So we need another of these and another of these. And I'm also gonna need to make a, a transposer, liquid transposer. And that's gonna need another one. So in total we're gonna need to make two machines. So that's eight of these for, oh not eight, okay well we got the glass 
and like so we make the machine frames and we make the redstone reception coils now that is the base for all of them so we're gonna need more buckets as well so I might just get some more tin Tim tin like so come on two buckets um, what was I making again? The transposer needs more copper as well. Oh, there we go. I don't know exactly how much I need, so I just grabbed a random amount. Come on. Like so, the coil there, and that there, and that. Liquid transposer. I'm not gonna make another one. Uh, for the magma crucible, I'm gonna need some nether bricks. Do have some still. Uh, yeah, and it's still copper. Okay. All these machines now together can work as one and produce what I need. So we're gonna need to find a place with power. A place of power, perhaps. Yeah, I could probably use this area. Do they transfer power between each other? I don't think so. Let's grab a bunch. This is ugly, but it works. Let's see, the smelter... Magma crucible... And the liquid transposer... And this one can go there. And we're gaining some mega jewels, or Minecraft jewels, I can't quite remember. Okay. That's what I need, uh, first of all. For the pulverized obsidian, or the hardened glass, I need to make Electrum Blend. And Electrum is made with silver and gold, so let's get a bunch. I can just get 10 of each and pulverize it. Let's make 20. We can pulverize it over here. And we're going to keep the pulverized ferrous there. It's going to take a while. No, oh, sorry. Totally phased out for a moment there. This is boring. Let me cut this out. One moment. Alright, so by combining pulverized obsidian with lead, we smelt that into hardened glass. And we're gonna need a bunch of this anyhow, so I just pulverized up. Let's get uh, lead. Ten more of it. because I will probably need a lot of hardened glasses as I start working with these machines, so... Oh, that's a little bit too much, but oh well. Now i got ten. Uh, now, these I can craft into energy conduits. I'm gonna need plenty lots of them, so... Let's just get a little bit more. Also, we're gonna need redstone, and we're gonna need about... Let's make four stacks, maybe. We can craft the last one. So we now have plenty of these. Now, liquid transposers are used to fill this. Oh, and let's make sure that we don't output anything. 
<clears throat> sorry, I got a bit of a crappy throat today. Um, that's going to be blue input, and that's that. So once we have a few stacks of redstone, we can throw them in there, and this will go fairly quickly, and will empty into this one. And as soon as we get, I think it's 50 millibuc millibuckets, yeah, millibuckets, we get one of these filled. And this is going to tick through. Could probably make another magma crucible, but it's fairly fast. The magma crucible is a neat little machine. Um, you can actually destroy netherrack and make lava out of it. And uh, it would be nice to make a lava engine at some point, but I don't have the power for it. Also, I want to make the crescent hammer. Silver and iron. Or did I make that already? No crescent hammer. So, silver, one. Iron, three. Perfect. Silver and iron. Let's see. Like so, and I have the crescent hammer. Because I need these this for the... Conduits. Shift clicking destroys them. Now these work with... I don't think I can attach them to these, can I? No, I don't think so. Uh, these work just like uh, these pipes, but they're a bit more lag-free, so I quite like them. There we go. So I'm gonna fill these, all of them up, with redstone and uh, see where we get. So I'll be back in a moment. Once I have these and we have our engines, I will make the uh, firebox, is it name? Uh, it searches through the wrong one. Firebox, where are you? There you are. Liquid fueled firebox. No, solid fueled fire. Oh, I don't get the item anyhow. Okay, so I need bricks and fire charge and furnace, so we can make a bunch of these. I'll get some bricks. I don't have that, so clay maybe? Yeah, let's get a stack. And we'll go from there. Anyhow, guys, I'll be back in a minute. I do realize that I will want to update this one to a uh, liquid-fueled firebox at some point, um, like this, using steel and stuff, because they're a bit more effective. But, nine of these, placed in a pattern like this, will make a very big boiler. Awesome. Okay, now we need to make the actual boiler tanks. And I'm still going to go with low pressure, and we're going to need iron plates. And to calculate this, I'm going to need... Um, let's see, one of these uh, low pressure boilers. It's going to need two for one. And we're going to need a nine times four, I think. So it's going to be a lot of iron. Uh, do I have any low pressure? No, I don't. Uh, I actually do have iron plates already. Let's use them. Um, how many are there? 39. I'm gonna need more than that, I think. But we'll start with that. Yeah, definitely, because I'm going to make a 36, let's see, yes, a 36 cubic meter one. So I'm going to need another, let's see, 16, 33. So that should be doable. 33, if I get, that's 30, and... Uh, 33, I think. Mm. 
We'll see. So I'm going to let this run and I'll be back in a bit. I just realized that we need these stone industrial waterproof pipes. Yeah. So we're going to make sure we get enough water resistant bronze plates. That's a lot of bronze. Oh, let's see. I might as well just check. I don't have so many, so well, we're gonna need a bunch of this. So let's get ah three stacks. We're also going to need a bunch of gold. We do have some, but let's get two stacks. Probably not that much, and. We need some smooth stone. Let's get that. All these can be produced in a rolling machine, or should be produced in the rolling machine. Um, so I'm going to have to grab... We'll start with the bronze. Grab these now. Like that. that produces quite a lot of them, so let's just make from one stack and see how many we get. We're getting plenty. So I don't think I need to make all of those. However, the gold is probably the same. I mean, for each eight, I need four bronze, so... No energy. Oh. Um, let's get those and get the gold before anything blows up on me. And pop the gold in there. Actually, take the rest of the gold. We don't need that many. You can get those as well, just to clear the recipe out. And we're going to need some waterproof. I got plenty, so let's get a hundred. That's enough for twenty-five. Yeah, we'll be good with that. There we go. And the waterproof. My dog is currently eating a bone, and it's very loud. Hope it's not bleeding through too much to you guys and stone plates. We also need glass. Let's get 20. Don't need so many more of these now, but we might as well just craft this up. We got the glass. And we can get the last few of these. Actually, don't need them now, but oh well. Okay, perfect. We can just uh, dump the excess bronze and iron and uh, stone because we don't need that much. And we got some extra of that as well. Now, let's see stone plate, like so, gold plate, like so, and we put these water resistant stuff in the sides there and balance it out, and we get at least a stack. We'll get one and a half stack. Um, I know for sure that we will need more. I also need an aqueous accumulator. Maybe even two. But one should be enough. So another machine frame. We need one of these pneumatic servos. Um, I have... The glass goes like so. We need iron. And redstone. I've got some extras because I know we do need for later stuff. And the iron goes like so. Oh. Like so. And we need one gold ingot for that and we need to get some more iron. I'm just throwing stuff on the ground right now. 
and this iron with this ah uh, I'm one glass short oh there's more glass servo and four of these makes a machine frame you've seen them before and we're gonna need more glass now I think yes definitely so glass and a bucket so tin yeah I make my buckets out of tin it's a bit cheaper tin is a bit more common don't need any more of those shouldn't need more of those machine frame servo don't need that one do I no and tin okay let's just throw this away and make the bucket another one of those we need tin like so and the server goes their machine from there and there and there and we have an accuracy accumulator awesome and we have one bucket of water um, bucket yeah I grab that one hmm. cost the milk drink it and then dump the bucket in there why aren't you what I'm confused you can't take a That's odd. Let's see if I can figure this one out. That's very strange indeed. What do I need for that? Okay, be right back, guys. Okay, well, I didn't get it to work. Um, I had to replace it with the thermal expansion type pipes, the liquid ducts, and, well, to be honest, they're actually a lot better, and I'm considering replacing these, but I'm gonna need a lot of obsidian, so for now, I'm gonna live without. But what I am a bit worried about, what happens if I place this down and try to attach one of this. Yeah, it's not connecting. And this is slowly collecting. Hmm. Yeah, it's not really sending out anything here. Oh. Hmm. I need another bucket. I need to test this out because this is a bit worrying. So I'm gonna steal a bucket out of there. That bucket can go down to the bottom there and get filled in here. Whoosh. Huh? Okay, yeah, fair enough. Did that go as planned? I don't remember how many buckets I had. Okay, let's uh, make a test run of this. So I make an infinite water source and I place down my aqueous accumulator there just so that it fills up quickly. There we go, bucket at uh, each second. And then we place this. Okay, so it does fill. Whew. That's what I wanted to know. Okay, I think I'm set. I have a bunch of these energy conduits and they're full. I have pl plenty of stone plates that I don't need now, so let's send these away. I have an extra reception coil, don't need those. I have an accumulator, I have the fuel tanks, I have the boilers, I have some stone waterproof, but we have the industrial waterproof there. And that's all I need. Let's visit my new base, shall we? Oh yeah.
So, did some changes here and I started building. Over there you can see some of my outline. Um, I decided to go for the Buildcraft power gen. I also added a crafting segment here. So, let's see. Taking a look at this. Oh yeah. Here is where I am going to build my steam engines. We do have a little bit of flux in this area and this is going to be the boiler. The flux is not going to be a problem, I think. Here's the thing here. I will probably need some more of those. I won't start this now anyhow, so... Um, I'm thinking... We'll do something like this. If I place down the redstone energy conduits like this. And then we set our engines to, to connect to these. Let's see, I... Yep, that way. Spiffy. <laughs> I love this. Really nice looking. And we're gonna need to run some red power... Yeah, we're gonna need some red uh, alloy wire up. When this is filled with steam... Let's see, can I put the steam in there? I don't know. We'll see. Actually not going to be there. Oh. It's going to be something like this. And that connects to the boiler on this side. This should fill up with steam and this machine should run. Let's uh, build the 36 cubic meter low pressure steam boiler, shall we? Oh yeah. Just gonna destroy all this dirt. And I think I'm actually running up to the time where I have to end this episode. But let's build this at least. And let's grab all these low pressure ones. Well, it's going to be a big explosion if this goes off. Wow. 144 buckets worth of water can go into this thing. I am worried about how much um, fuel this is going to use. Oh dear, oh dear. But I have a bunch of peat. I mean, I have 367 created ones. That should be enough. Um, let's check. Peat produces 2k and charcoal produces 1.6k. Problem is, I don't produce more peat, I think. Oh, we'll have to figure that out. So, between this and next episode, I'll set up the next set here, which is basically just the same thing. That's one, two, three out. So one, two, three, and there. Like so. And I do the same on this one. Uh, and I will need to... There we go. I will need to uh, set this up and test run it. We will need to make the Aquas accumulator go, and I will need some more liquid ducts. So I will see you guys in the next episode. Take care. Bye-bye.